Okay, so before we start, I think networks is something that everyone is getting, yes? Give me a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are we feeling so far? 9? 10? Okay, good. Good, good, some good numbers. Um, and I did mention yesterday that the most difficult part, I think, of networks is, I guess, remembering what the terms are, because there's a lot of new words that you're going to be learning uh, when you do when you move forward with this topic, okay? Like, for example, we learnt about what the word planar means. What does planar mean, guys? Planar, what does it mean? None of the lines cross, okay? And you can make a graph planar if you redraw it, but some of them you can't, okay, depending on just the connections. Like, for example, this graph here, you can't make planar because there's too many lines intersecting. Even if you re rearrange it, you can't keep the same connections. We also looked at uh, Euler's formula, which is this, proving if a graph is planar or not. So these are the calculations that we did for that, for the planar. For Zaid, um, just so you're aware, can anyone tell me what, what do we call the dots and the lines now? So the dots are starting with V and the lines are called edges. Okay, so keep that in mind, Zaid, when we do these. What else do we do? Matrices, we did that. Easy, easy. Um, connected graphs, so remember if a graph is connected it means you can access any of the dots or the uh, vertices via some other way. If it's disconnected that means you can't. For example, that second graph here is disconnected. Zaid, why is it disconnected? Why do you think it's disconnected? Have a think. Why is it disconnected? It's, it's not connected, yeah, because these guys are not connected to those guys, yeah? Disconnected. Okay, so in order to connect them, you draw what you call a bridge. Okay, so remember what the bridges are. They connect the graph together. Isomorphic. Okay, what does that mean? Really quickly, isomorphic, weird word. Pard, what does isomorphic mean? They're exactly <coughs> what? the same. Even though the labels are different on the vertices, the connections are the same, the number of edges are the same, okay, and the degrees are the same. I should keep that in mind. All right, let's go on to 9E. Now, 9E, you're going to be learning, I think, about four new terms. So please be attentive with this. Make sure you write some notes. So when we, when we work with networks, a lot of the times, uh, it's not just about looking at the connections and then understanding how to get from one point to another. It's about also interpreting the, uh, what's happening in the graph and what you can do or where you can go in the graph. Okay? So when we talk about this word walk, okay, it's now talking about, all right, can you tell me or give me instructions on how to get from this spot to this spot, okay? So in this case, in terms of a definition, a walk, okay, is a consecutive sequence of vertices. So what we're looking here is you're listing out the vertices that you need to go to. Like, for example, go to A, B, back to A, C, then go back down to A, B, D, E, F. Okay, that's a walk, for example. You're giving me instructions on where to go. And how that works is, like I said, go to A, then go to B, and then maybe go to C. Now go back to A, then to C. So in terms of showing instructions, it might be like A, then B, then D, C, then D, then maybe go to G, then go to E. Okay. That's an example of what a walk might be, okay? Or an example of what we're going to start doing now. Because previously with networks, we've just looked at graphs. We've described the uh, degrees. We've described the number of vertices and that sort of thing. But now we're going to start looking at putting instructions to or giving instructions to um, the context or now making sense of how a network is going to work, okay? So that's an example of that. Now, I'm going to leave that there. That's just an example, but there's a couple of things you, you need to know. So that is what a walk is, okay? Just basic instructions, A, C, D, E, G, F, whatever, okay? A closed walk, okay? So this is a new one. Closed walk is, it's a walk, but with the start, so the initial and the final vertex is the same, okay? So that means the start and finish has to be exactly the same. So an example of a closed walk in here could be, you might say, okay, A, then B, then C, then back to A. Okay, because I've gone A, 
then B, then C, and back to A. That's an example of a closed walk. The start and finish, okay, are exactly the same. In this case, it was A. Okay, so those are two examples of what a walk and a closed walk is. So let's let's put some of these uh, examples to practice as well. I get rid of that so we don't see it. For each of the following sequences of vertices, so this is examples of uh, either a walk or a closed walk, or maybe not even a walk, but how is it not a walk? We need to state whether it is a walk, a closed walk, or not even a walk at all. So let's look at that first one. Let's read the uh, instructions. It's saying we need to go from A to C, and then C to D, and then D to G, and then G to F, and then F to E, and then E to D. So remember, this is the start, and we finished here. Okay, now tell me, what kind of walk is this? Is this just a regular walk? Is it a closed walk, or is it not a walk? Just a regular walk, good. Okay, it's a normal walk. No, nothing too crazy, just go to these, uh, go to these vertices. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, get rid of that. And I'll give you a worksheet to just uh, solidify all this. Let's try the second one. So we're looking at B. So we start at B now, okay? There's your start. So we go B, then we go up to A, then we go to C, and then we go to E. Okay, what's wrong with that? Why is it not a walk? You can't get to E directly from C. Yeah? You've got to go either through D or at least go through G. Okay, so this one is not a walk. Okay, so they're incorrect instructions. You can't get from C to E at all. all right, that's, so that's what that's happening there. Oops. So that's what will be assessing you when you actually do the assessments on the CFATs and the SACs. Here. So make sure you understand what's what here. Last one. Okay. We're starting at F, so that's our start. So let's follow the instructions. So F to E, E to D, D to C, and then back to D, and then G, and then E, then F. So the start and finish is the same. So what does that mean, guys? What kind of walk is it? It's closed, because the start and finish is the same. Okay, so that's how we read these instructions when we're working with walks and also other types of uh, different instructions, okay? That's good. So just bear in mind, now we're going to look into more complicated things, but that's what we've got. So, so far you've got your walk and you've got your closed walk and you also something is also not a walk if the instructions don't make sense. Like you can't get from C to E directly. All right, you've got to have another edge there at least, but you can't. All right, let's go to the next page. Now we're going to look at four more terms that you need to remember. So more, more examples of different types of walks. So a path, the first one, is a type of walk, okay? And make sure you understand this. No vertex is repeated. Okay, you've got to remember that. You can't repeat a vertex except the start and finish. The thing is, however, that's very similar to a circuit, but we won't go there just yet okay so uh sorry it's very similar to a cycle my bad so a path no vertex you can't go back to a dot again so if i go this, here for example if i start at a and then i go to b then c and then c uh, then a and then go down to b then back to a that can't be a cycle uh, a a path yeah you can't repeat uh you can't go back to the same vertex except if it's the start and end. Okay, we'll look into more examples of this. A cycle, okay, is the same as a path, okay, but you have to start and end at the same place. Okay, so it's the same as path, but it's closed. So when we talk about closed, it means, it always means that you've got to start and end at the finish one. So I'm going to put that in there. When you talk about the word closed, it is the same. The start and end have to be the same when you, whenever you say closed. So if I say closed closed circuit, or a closed path or a closed trail, closed walk, start and end has to be the same. Okay, so path, a cycle is the same as path, 
can't repeat a vertex. Okay, you cannot repeat vertex. Okay, now you've got trail. A trail is when you can't repeat an edge. So you can't go to the same line again. Okay, so you can't, for example, you can't do this. A to B, then back to A. Because I've already crossed through here, I can't use that line again. So for example, if I wanted to go A to B, and then B to C, and then C to A, then that's fine. Okay, but I cannot repeat an edge. Uh, and then, so that's where your trail is. No edge, repeat. And then cir a circuit is the same as a trail, but it's closed. So start and end has to be the same. Okay, except start and end is the same. So remember, when, whenever we say closed, it just means start and end is the same. I know it's a lot of terms, but once we put this into example uh, into practice, it might make a little bit more sense. Okay, so path, no repeated vertex, cycle, same thing, but start and end is the same. Trail, no repeated edge. Circuit is the same thing, but you've got to start and finish at the same spot. Okay, let's look at this. So we need to state whether these are paths, trails, cycles, or circuits. Okay, let's try this. So let's look at the first one. C A B D E F. So C. Oh, you don't have to do this, but I like to say that that's my start, just so you know where it is on the graph. So C, and then you've gone to A, and then to B, and then to D, and then to E, and then to F. Okay, so what's this? Is this a path, a trail, a cycle, or a circuit? This is tricky, okay, because you can actually say. It's pro it could be a trail, or it could be a path as well. Because you haven't repeated an edge, you haven't repeated a vertex. So you could say both. Um, could be either. Doesn't have to... I think we found in the sack that this also happens. Okay, so you could be one or the other. Let's try the second one. Okay, the second one, you're starting at B. Okay, so this is the starting point. So B, and then you've got C, and then you've got D, and then you've gone back to B. So I've repeated a vertex already. So what does that mean? It's definitely not a cycle. Okay, so I've gone up to B, and then you go down to C, and then you go to A, and then you finish up at B. So in here, the interesting thing here is I've repeated a few things. Okay, I've repeated my, my vertex, and I've repeated an edge. So in this case, this is a tricky one. Let me just double check that I've done it right. So B to C to D, and then up to B, and then, oh, okay, down to C. I didn't see that. So I assume we're going to use this, okay, because then that means I wouldn't have repeated any of my edges, and then C, then A, then B. So what's this, guy? Start and end is the same, and no repeated vertices. So that, in this case, would be, a cycle Pardon? yeah I haven't repeated an edge it's a cycle I repeated yeah, repeated a vertex. Vertex. except no so for the cycle the start and finish can be the same oh okay my bad sorry sorry okay I'm sorry I'm sorry sorry I didn't see that B it is a circuit 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 sorry 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 and this is where the uh, terms can get confusing so you are correct it is a circuit Okay, for C, so you're starting at F. Now, you'll probably get to the point where you may not have to do all of this. Okay, you can just look at it and say it's this, it's that. So in this case, but oh, one thing you've got to watch out for is you don't know the connection. Some of them might have multiple connections between two vertices. So this is your start. Oh, another thing as well, you can see that that's the start and that's the finish. Okay, so what does that mean? It's probably not going to be a, a path. Well, it could be a path, but it's probably not a trail. Okay, well, let's have a look. So F to E, and then uh, E to D, and then D to C. Yep, and then back to D, and then D to... Oh, okay, yeah, you're correct. So either someone's made an error in this, or it's none. So this is just a normal walk, because there's repeats... 
and I've gone back here. Yeah. So I would say none. I think that's. I think someone made an error there. There should be another one between D and F. I would say, but that's okay. Well, I would say so because oh, I would. I think we would try and make sure that that's not in there. <laughs> All right, next one. A, B, D, E, D, C. Okay, so we're starting at A. And you're finishing at C. So that tells me that it's not going to be a circuit and it's not going to be a cycle because the start and finish are not going to be the same. So A to B, B to D, D to E, and then back to D, and then to C. Oops. And then back to C. So it looks like it's a trail. Okay. Remember, path means uh, you you can you can you can re you can't repeat a vertex, but because here I haven't repeated any edges, and my start and finish is different, it's most likely going to be a trail. Okay, I think that's it for this one. What I want you to do, just to help you. Guys